Hey guys, this is Blogger the Hut, and I wanted to throw up a quick sluggish reaction to the Timeless Season 2 special finale, whatever you want to call it. I really like the, the crazy ending. I thought it was gutsy to go for a cliffhanger ending, and I'm glad they got these uh, two episodes uh, to wrap things up. When I'd originally heard about it, I'd heard that it was a movie, and to be honest, I watched them back to back, and if, if you are able to get hold of them, I'd recommend doing that as well, because it did feel like one uh, continuous story. Uh, rather than two separate adventures. I thought they handled things really well. I did like, I would have liked to see more of kind of crazy future alternate Wyatt and Lucy, but uh, it was okay. And what I really like is that they've got a simple and just straightforward explanation for kind of messing with your own timeline in that you can do it, but there's severe side effects. And basically, if you push it too hard, you'll go insane and die. And the fact that they... They pushed that straight away with Lucy uh, and Wyatt, the fact that they were kind of getting uh, ill just from speaking to them. So it just it just makes sense. No convoluted conversation, no diagrams, no mumbo-jumbo science stuff. Just, can we change our own timelines? You can, but you're going to die. And obviously we saw that play through uh, really well uh, with Flynn uh, when he uh, went back and uh, made the ultimate sacrifice by changing the timeline so that they could uh, get Rufus back. I really like the the two storylines. I do love finding out more of the history as well, uh, particularly the 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 titular miracle of Christmas in in Korea. I thought that was that was really interesting, and I like that they still brought that in as much as they had to focus on wrapping things up with all these characters. I thought bringing all the characters back together uh, was really good. Um, I thought they handled that really well with uh, the fallout from uh, Wyatt and his wife, who obviously turned out to be Rittenhouse, and the consequences of that. Uh, but obviously they did have the, the happy ending at the end, which was great. The only criticism I have, which, I mean, it was understandable with what they were given, was that some things felt um, a bit rushed. Um, I mean, literally, if you watch the previously on, it's like... She's literally running out of breath doing doing the preview. It's going she's going so fast. That was that was pretty um, hilarious to begin with. And there were some things like uh, sort of Gia hinted at that she'd possibly been abused during her time in the past, and she was sort of uh, not wanting to be intimate with uh, Rufus. But then that just kind of went away. Some things like that, and again the whole relationship thing with Wyatt and Lucy again that kind of seemed to just wrap up very quickly but again given the time they had and obviously they needed the action and the time travel and to defeat Rittenhouse again that was handled quite well because they had gotten to the point where Rittenhouse were sort of on the ropes um, and obviously the changes that they then made um, in terms of uh, changing the timeline uh, did bring it to uh, a sensible conclusion where they were able to uh, defeat the remaining uh, Rittenhouse operatives and bring them to an end once and for all. I really liked that it was a happy ending. I thought that was that was nice. It should have ended with a um, happy ending mostly all round. I like the kind of hint that one day someone will create a time machine and that they'll have to deal with this again. But it was, you know, it felt like uh, something for the future. So, yeah, really good. Um, if you haven't checked out the series, do check it out. Really fun action time travel show. Again, that doesn't make it too complicated and just gets on with the action. So, yeah, really recommend you check it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Do please follow me on WordPress and for Twitter. But for now, see you and thanks for listening.